So right now I've got the camera pointed out to the center of the bog where conditions are going to be the most acidic, the wettest, and the most nutrient poor. I'd like to start talking about some of the species that we're going to find as we move in towards the edge of the bog. So can you see the transition right about here? There's the center of the bog. And right in front of me, you start to see some more shrubs. So that's the bog or the scrub birch is the main shrub you're seeing. And it gets thicker and thicker as I move towards pointing towards the main canopy or the main forested area around the edge of the bog. So we might as well start here with the bog birch, or Betula glandulosa. It's great that I was able to come out here this time of year in the spring because we see it is in flower right now. So here you have a female flower, the little pink bit, and then this longer we call them catkins. This longer one is the male flower. So it's a, just a modified flowering structure on this plant. Not your typical tulip or daisy type flower, but they are indeed flowers. So the male producing the pollen and then the female will develop and produce the seeds later in the season. Um, so Betula glandulosa, it's a birch shrub species. We might be able to see the glands here with the sun hitting it. It might my phone might not be able to capture that kind of detail. Um, but you can kind of see little bumps along the stem. So you can see the gray bark and some little bumps. So that's where it's getting its name, glandulosa. And if you look really close in the right light, you'll see these little orangey glands on it. The leaves are still quite small right now. I'll zoom down. A little bit larger leaves. But quite round, small leaves. I'll talk about in an intro video, the edges or margins of the leaves are serrated. So that just means it's kind of saw-like or toothed around the edge of the leaf. So on this branch you can see really well the male flowers, some new female flowers coming in, and then the old female structures from last season are these dried up catkins. So it's crumbling apart and in there you can see some little seeds that were developed last year. So that little white thing with the little seed wings on it. 